are one of the fastest disappearing vertebrates on Earth. More and more signs like this are popping up in Canada's national parks. This is because 70% of turtle wetland habitat in Ontario has already been lost. The remaining is intersected by roads, leading to significant amount of turtle deaths and injuries. As a result, all eight of Ontario's turtle species are now endangered. So what can we do about this? In this video, we'll explore the challenges faced by turtles in Ontario and how Parks Canada is working to protect these incredible creatures. Southern Ontario is a haven for turtles, boasting the highest density and variety of turtle species in Canada. However, all eight turtle species found in this region are now at risk. From the day they're born, turtles are on the move. Turtles travel across a range of different habitats to mate, nest, and find food and water. When roads are developed in an area, it can cause habitat fragmentation. This means that turtles and other animals must cross over roads to get from one habitat to another. Many animals are hit and killed by cars while trying to move between habitats, which is known as road mortality. Roads are one of the leading causes of decline of reptile and amphibian populations worldwide. Turtles are slow to mature, taking anywhere from 8 to 20 years depending on the species. Losing even a single adult turtle can have devastating consequences for their populations and the surrounding ecosystem. Unfortunately, Southern Ontario also has the highest density of roads in Canada, and road mortality has become one of the biggest threats to turtles. Many turtles are drawn to roads during nesting season in the spring, as they seek out the soft, sandy gravel on the shoulders to lay their eggs. This puts them at even greater risk of being struck by vehicles. So before we talk about what is being done to save these turtles, I just want to let you all know that we're on the road to a thousand subscribers. And it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button, if you're enjoying the video, and if you want to learn about important environmental stories every week and how to make an impact in your local area. Now let's talk about how Parks Canada is protecting Ontario's turtles. To address the issues faced by the turtles in Ontario, Parks Canada has been working with Indigenous communities, partners, and volunteers to install eco-passages and exclusion fencing along road mortality hotspots in Ontario's national parks. We're making our roads safer for wildlife by installing eco-passages and eco-fencing at road mortality hotspot locations. The eco-fencing acts as a barrier, guiding turtles, snakes, frogs, and other small animals towards the eco-passages, allowing them to cross underneath roads safely. We're also creating artificial turtle nesting sites near known turtle habitats. This way, female turtles can lay eggs without even crossing the road. Eco passages are specialized wildlife tunnels that allow animals to safely cross underneath roads, while exclusion fencing guides the animals towards these passages. The results have already been promising. In Bruce Peninsula National Park, over 6,700 animals have used these eco passages to safely cross roads since 2018. Bruce Peninsula National Park protects the largest section of green space in southern Ontario and is rich in biodiversity. The park is home to 26 different species of reptiles and amphibians. At our park, we're taking action to protect our reptiles and amphibians through the On the Road to Recovery project. This project includes a special focus on species at risk. Parks Canada is also implementing traffic management measures to further reduce the risk to wildlife. In Rouge National Urban Park in Toronto, the introduction of wildlife crossing signs has significantly reduced road mortality by increasing driver awareness. The park even partnered with the City of Pickering for a Give Me a Break billboard campaign, encouraging drivers to slow down and allow wildlife to cross safely. Similar initiatives such as reduced speed limits, increased signage, and the addition of speed bumps are being implemented in Point Pelee National Park this year. As individuals, we can all play a part in helping to save turtles and other important species. If you encounter a turtle on the road, 
learn how to safely help it cross. With a snapping turtle, two hands right over top of their back hind legs, just grab there. As soon as you grab, they're going to start snapping, but they cannot reach you there. Just carry them across the rope, put them in the grass, release and retreat. So I'm going to release him and I'm going to just move up the shoulder. So always take a turtle in the direction that they're facing when you see them. Uh, because, well, they have reasons why they're going across. And if you change them, if you were to pick them up and turn them, and maybe there's a pond back here, you'll be on your way, and that turtle guaranteed will be right back out on the highway heading across the road. Consider volunteering for turtle or wildlife conservations in your local national park or other conservation area and visit their website to find out more about what's available near you. Most importantly, practice responsible driving habits to reduce wildlife mortality on the roads. So after watching this video, I'd encourage all of you to learn more about the species at risk in your local area and how you can contribute to conservation efforts. By working together, we can make a huge difference in protecting endangered species in our local areas. Parks Canada's initiatives to make roads safer are crucial, but it's up to all of us to do our part. Let's ensure that the amazing wildlife in our areas is safe for generations to come. And if you want to learn more about any of the turtle stories that we talked about today, check the links in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.